All right, as you can see, this says Philadelphia cream cheese. Philadelphia cream cheese. Yet it's made in Chicago. This is an outrage. Now, I have nothing against the city of Chicago. I've been there, had a good time, ridden around on the L, bought a Blackhawks t-shirt, even though I'm not a Blackhawks fan because it's a nice logo. But I also like the city of Philadelphia. Now, what kind of cream cheese company passes itself off as Philadelphia cream cheese under false pretenses? Apparently, Philadelphia, or whoever makes Philadelphia cheese, cream cheese does. Why not call it Chicago cream cheese? Now, I don't eat cream cheese. I don't like it. It's for my wife. So if there is a difference between Philadelphia cream cheese and Chicago cream cheese, I don't know what the difference is. And now on to another outrage. Here's the Star Trek II Blu-ray of the theatrical cut and the director's version. And here's the, um, let's travel here, the poster of the Star Trek II. Uh, from the, uh, they showed it at the movies a couple years ago, and they were nice enough to give me a poster. You know what's wrong with that poster? Uhura's not on it. You got Chekhov, Scotty, Sulu, Kirk, McCoy, and Spock. And you got Khan, which makes sense. And you got Captain Turrell and Lieutenant Savick and some of those uh, henchmen or goons or friends of Khan. But you don't have Uhura. How can you leave Uhura off a Star Trek poster? When you have the whole classic cast but Uhura. That's an outrage. Nichelle Nichols, if you're watching this, you should say, Why am I not on that poster? And I'll tell you what, they should redo it and put her on the poster because A, she belongs on a poster, and B, this becomes an instant collector's item. Always planning for the future. So then today, I'm uh, oop and a boot doing errands, and uh, got a hipster on the bus with his man bun. I'm like, oh, these fucking man buns. They're useful for one thing. The headless horseman can grab him by his man bun and whoosh, cut his head off. Now, I'm not condoning the beheading of hipsters, so if the headless horseman runs amok, and does things to hipsters, it's not my fault. He or she does that on their own will. So I don't condone it, so no legal issues here. So then I'm, I'm in the store picking up a Kiss comic book. Um, yeah, I read comics. I'm 45, what of it? And there's two hipsters back there having a conversation about how they don't like to fly, and they absolutely hate flying. And then they're going on about where they like to sit when they're flying, and he's like, I like to buy a seat way in the back and pay extra. And the other one's like, he does all this when he flies. So they're standing there going on and on and on about how they don't like flying. But then they're going on and on and on about where they like to sit and their little things they do when they fly. Which I guess that's the irony of the piece. And they got to sit way in the back. Probably because sitting in the back is mainstream. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'm just ranting and raving. You know, everyone has the right to rant and rave and... I rant and rave and point out what I see as the silliness of the human race, and uh, I could be a part of the silliness of the human race. And if you want to rant and rave against me, be my guest. If you do, just make it funny. That's all I ask. Hit me with a few good zingers. I don't mind. So anyway, and then I get up front at the store to pay, and there's two hipsters up there going back and forth saying the word flash. He's, the one guy's like, flash, and the other guy's like, flash, 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 flash. I'm like, guys, what is this? And the one guy's like, that's underground. That's not popular. And then they start up again. Flash, 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 flash. I'm like, guys! About to go nuts. Uh, I mean, I was hoping maybe they're going flash. It would be followed by flash. Ah! Uh, uh, that I could get that. That's a song from a movie. So you would have a song from one of my favorite movies by one of my favorite bands, Queen, who did the entire soundtrack for Flash Gordon. But no, you just got two hipsters with identical beards, identical haircuts, and identical glasses going back and forth about the word flesh. We really have to build a separate state for hipsters. Make like a 51st state somewhere, or maybe even like just like a separate country. Put it like on an island somewhere. Now one might say this is horrible. Why should we put all the hipsters on an island? I don't know, why not? They, they, you know, they're, they don't, they don't want to be, you know, they want to be off in the distance. They don't want to be too popular. They don't want to be too mainstream. Well, if you have your own island with all your other hipsters, you got what you want. You know, we'll just uh, send them everything they need. Gluten-free food, independent music, 
but keep other independent music in a warehouse ready to ship over to them when that independent music they're listening to at present becomes too popular and they reject it. So then you can send the other independent music over and it'll just be a constant pipeline of stupid independent music. Which they must pay for. I will not have the federal government subsidizing independent music for hipsters. If you're going to subsidize music, subsidize it for me. Because as far as I'm concerned, I got the best, bleh, best musical taste on the face of the planet. Even if I have eroding speaking skills as we speak. So anyway, in review, Philadelphia cream cheese is being passed off as Philadelphia cream cheese while being made in Chicago. This is representing Philadelphia under false pretenses. Uhura should be on the poster and cover for the Star Trek II Blu-ray version of the uh, Breath of Khan theatrical and director's cut. And hipsters, get your own island. Oh, one more thing. I'm in the pharmacy picking up prescriptions for my wife. That's the kind of nice guy I am. And there's a woman in front of me picking up her prescriptions. So she gets her prescriptions and then she's like, so have a nice holiday, which that's nice, a, a greeting. But then she says to someone else behind there, what are you doing this holiday? How was your Thanksgiving? I'm like, oh, no. If you're going to ask these questions, go over here. See, I want to get out of there. Now, I can babble with the best of them. And when it was my turn, I was babbling. But when she finished with my prescriptions, uh, with the prescriptions, I was done. I'm out of there because there was someone behind me in line. Now, I could be a dickhead and hold that person up. But then I would be a hypocrite. If I'm going to go crazy that everyone has to fucking hurry up, I am going to get out of there quick too. And as soon as my transaction was done, boom, I'm out of there. And I went over and got my wife what she wanted, which is pizza and the offending Philadelphia cream cheese in question that's made in Chicago. Having said all that, I'm going to load this into YouTube so you can watch it. Who are these people watching YouTube? He also bought himself soup, soup and pudding and pudding and soda. And so I the soda we share. So I, he didn't only buy stuff for me. I also got shaving cream because my wife's gonna finally shave her shave her fucking sideburns. <laughs> Later tonight, please help. Yeah, she's gonna shave her sideburns and her armpits because the Madonna tribute contest is over. And my butt cracked. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna shave her buck rack. If you know, I, I'm gonna watch that. You gotta do it. You gotta help. Now, if I gotta shave her buck rack, well, who's gonna be in charge of putting the band-aids on your ass when I slip? I got bad eyesight. I don't know. We'll have to call someone. I could see that 911 call. Hello. I was shaving my wife's ass crack. I slipped. So, uh, but uh, I tell you what, guys, I'll make a deal sweet for you. When she's getting the, uh, when you put the bandage on, I'll have her lean far over. You can see two things at once. Hey, you know, if you, you got to make it worth the guy's trouble or ladies, you know, however way you roll. Lesbian ambulance drivers, yeah.